In the grandeur of St Peter's Basilica, the traditional New Year's Day Mass was delivered by Pope Francis to a packed congregation. But this year's service at the Vatican was to be particularly poignant, following the death on Saturday of the man he'd succeeded, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. The key to hope is Mary. The antiphon of hope is the invocation of the Holy Mother of God. And we ask through her intercession that she accompanies Pope Benedict on his way. Pope Benedict stood down as the head of the Roman Catholic Church in 2013, eight years after being elected. A rare occurrence, he was the first to resign the papacy since the 15th century, citing his old age and declining health. It means a rare opportunity for a serving pope to preside over the funeral of a predecessor, due to be held on Thursday morning. But first, from Monday, thousands are expected to visit the same huge basilica, where the 95-year-old will lie in state for three days. As Pope, he was criticised for not doing enough to address sexual abuse allegations within the church. But here, there were only tributes. Despite the fact he was always very reserved, he leaves a very important mark on the church, on the world, on people. We know uh, Benedict was a great theologian, was a man of culture, of reflection. Uh, he had an incredible charism. After the morning service, Pope Francis emerged, struggling with crippling knee pain, to cheers and applause from the waiting crowd in St Peter's Square. During his address, he took the opportunity to remember those living through war in Ukraine. Celebrating the World Day of Peace today, let us regain awareness of the responsibility that's been entrusted to us to construct the future in the face of the personal and social crisis we are living in and the tragedy of the war. It will be in this square that Thursday's service will be conducted, simple by comparison with previous papal funerals in keeping with Pope Benedict's wishes. Buon pranzo e arrivederci. With official delegations attending only from Italy and his native Germany. His papacy was not without controversy, but he will be remembered as one of the great theologians of his time. Emma Birchley, Sky News.